Hey everybody, this is Andrew from True North Trails. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a cheap, lightweight, and sturdy stove out of one of these things. Stay tuned. So don't tread on me, for I am your brother. I was born with an American heart. So uh, today I'm hiking down a local trail, and I've decided I'm going to make a stove for you guys and show you how to do it, I'll show you the whole process. To build this stove, uh, you're going to need a aluminum can of some kind, uh, you will need a knife, and that's basically it. And once I find a cool spot to sit down, I will uh, show you guys how to do it. <laughs> First step is to take the can and remove the top part and only the section that's inside the lip. So what you want to do is you take your knife and you push in and it should cut through. You'll see a little cut there. And then what, what you want to do is continue that all the way around. Oop. There we go, easy as that. And you'll see on the inside here that it is pretty rough around the edges, but that's fine. So the next step is you wanna make a cut in the can at about an inch to an inch and a half from the bottom lip. So I'm gonna go around here. I'm just gonna go straight in. And you wanna try and cut all the way around and make it nice and straight. Uh, if you're doing this at home, once you cut it all the way around, you can use a pair of scissors to kind of clean up the edge. There we go. So this is the bottom of our stove. <clears throat> the next part, what we've got to do is take a section off the top and you want to take off a little bit less or the same amount as you took off the bottom. So I'm going to take off about this much here. And it's going to be a little trickier on this half because you don't have the structure of the, uh, the can to keep it steady. There we go. So there's the top half. Again, remember to pack out your garbage. <clears throat> then what we want to do is we take our knife and we take the top part of the can, okay? And then we take our two fingers on this side, like so. And then we push down with our knife and try and make, try and make it straight. And what you want to do is create an indentation kind of like that, okay? And then you're gonna move your fingers over and do it again. And then one more time. And make sure you do a little indentation in the top of the can, in the ridge, okay? That's very important. Next one. So we're going to go all the way around. And then you should get to the point where the bottom of the stove almost looks like it's got flower petals around the outside edge. 
from all the indentations. And then what you do is you take the top and the bottom and you slide the top inside of the bottom. Like so. push it down, okay, and you'll get something like this, and it looks ugly as hell, but that's okay, as long as it's functional. The last step is to take your knife and create a little hole in the top half of the can of the stove. It doesn't need to be very big, it can just be something as small as this one here. And that's it, that is your stove. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how this stove works. You use isopropanol alcohol, which is also known as rubbing alcohol. And you want to get a high percentile uh, of the rubbing alcohol. If you get a 70%, it's not going to cut it. The uh, flames will just flicker out after a short time. So you want to get at least a 90%, put about an ounce of the alcohol in there. I don't know what, how well the fire is showing up. It's already starting to burn. Now all of those indentations around the outside, they turn into jets for the alcohol to burn through. So it gets a lot of power. As you can see, it really goes, so you have to be careful. Uh, you know, make sure there's not any dry leaves around and that you're on a flat surface because you don't want to start forest fire. I'm just going to make a quick coffee. And I am wasting fuel right now, just showing you how it burns, but it's okay. It's not like I'm relying on it for anything other than showing you how to, how to use it. So the great thing about this stove is that it doesn't require any kind of pot stand. Uh, I've seen a lot of different alcohol stoves and uh, you need a separate piece to set the pot on. But because of this one's design, you can just set it on top and it should burn without issue. I'm just going to make some instant coffee because I haven't had my coffee today even though it's like 5 o'clock. starting to roll in uh, simmering boil, so I'm going to pour this in now, just because I don't want it to be too hot. Mm. Okay, so now that I've got my coffee all done, uh, the best way to put out this fire, because it doesn't have an off switch, is just take your empty pot and smother it. And after about 5-10 seconds, it'll be So the great thing about these little stoves is that once you're done with them and you've put out the fire, if there's fuel left over in the bottom, what you can do to save it is once it's cooled off, you can pull out the center section, like so. And then pour it back in, and then you can just slide the top back in. And then toss it in your bag and you're good to go. Alright guys, I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, share, 
with your friends. And make sure you check me out on Instagram and on Facebook uh, at True North Trails. Uh, I got some new content coming up within the next couple of weeks, so please stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, get outside. Cheers. And don't trip.